Here's another walkthrough of a direct proof, this time involving the more general idea of divisibility. Remember that we say that the integer a divides n if and only if n can be written as a times k for some integer k. So we're going to prove the theorem that if n is divisible by 5, then that means that 2n squared plus 8n is divisible by 10. In the last video, we kind of walked through a one direct proof, so this one's going to start in much the same way. We always start by assuming our hypotheses. There's just one in this theorem that uh, n is divisible by 5. And then we unpack any definitions involved. That means there exists an integer k such that n is equal to 5 times k. Remember, that's just the definition of divisibility. So just like in the last video, we're going to take our n, which is now determined to have the form 5 times k, and plug it into the expression 2n squared plus 8n to show that the result has to be divisible by 10 because that's what we're trying to prove. Let's do some algebra here. The square of 5k is 25k squared. 8 times 5 is 40 times k. That gives us 50k squared plus 40k. And then remember, we're trying to prove that this is divisible by 10. So what we should do is we should pull a 10 out of the expression. So we get 10 times 5k squared plus 4k. And fortunately, we can do that. Otherwise, this theorem may not be true. So we note that this is divisible by 10. And therefore, if 5 divides n, then 10 divides 2n squared plus 8n. So remember, we restate the theorem at the end of the proof.